So one of the things that I like the most about our city is that um, it's a, I always say, it's not a one-to-one -one, you know, replication of New York City. Um, it's actually Peter Parker's New York City. Um, and at this point in the game, Peter Parker has, and slash Spider-Man um, has been protecting the city for eight years because he's very experienced. So the people in the city actually know him. Um, so you know, if you guys have played the demo, you'll see that he can you know, drop down to the, the sidewalk. Um, he can um, greet the, the New Yorkers, and they'll actually greet him back. Um, if you talk to some of them, um, they'll actually want to take selfies with you. Um, and then what's really cool is that later on, the city actually evolves with the storyline. So um, as you guys know, if you've read the comics, like um, New York kind of has a love-hate thing with, with Spider-Man, right? Like sometimes they love him and sometimes they hate him. And that is the plight and challenge of being Spider-Man. Um, and our city reflects that as well. So um, as the story evolves, so too will the city and how the citizens will react to him. Um, so in terms of what's the most challenging thing about developing the city, um, I would say is it it getting that aspect of it, you know, to make sure that Again, it's a city worth saving because at some point, when they love him, they love him. Um, and then um, making you kind of love the, the people, um, the traffic, um, and the charm of New York City enough that you would want to save it. So. Mm -hmm. um, well, for, again, with MJ, she's also an interesting character as well because if you think about who she was in the past, um, again, she's been the nightclub owner, she's been, um, I think she's been an actress. Um, but our MJ, um, she's definitely more um, self-sufficient. She's um, an up-and-coming um, journalist, an aspiring journalist. Um, so I wanted to make sure we reflected that in her design as well. Um, and that's why she dresses quite practically. Um, you know, so she has her hair in a ponytail, um, but yet she still dressed fashionably. Um, and that's one of the things I do when I design a character who's quite normal, because um, if you think about Miles, MJ, Peter, Aunt May, they're all very normal citizens. And I feel like if you put them in a t-shirt and jeans, it's very, it's, it's kind of a cop-out, right? Like you want to give them a reason for being what they look like or how they look. So in cases of MJ, I actually thought about the, the stores that she would shop at. <laughs> um, I researched what people would be wearing in New York City, um, especially for this season. Um, and even when we design, you know, for example, I think about, you know, like her living space and where she would shop. Um, and I feel like the, um, in her case, the biggest, uh, I guess flattery that I got from somebody was one of the actresses told me that she loved MJ's clothing and it was exactly what she would wear. Um, and that's why I feel like we've nailed um, MJ's character. So, I have plans for VR? Some kind of demo? VR? Of yeah. No, no VR. No, it's, it's, it's a tough enough job to get this game right. Adding something like VR would be out of our scope for this game. Not to mention, I'm not sure if Spider-Man swinging through New York City in VR might not be pleasant on the stomach. I don't know yet. <laughs> It's it's uh, it's really it's a really challenging experience to make a to make a Spider-Man game. I mean, I think you have a character who moves super fast compared to our character on Sunset Overdrive, so the city had to be um, had to be done for that. And then it's obviously a much more realistic looking city than we did for Sunset Overdrive, so that took into account. And just the the I always I always say this joke: the heart, the greatest thing about working on Spider-Man is that we get to work on Spider-Man, but the hardest thing is that we get to work on a Spider-Man game because. The character is so beloved, and everybody comes to the character in some different way. Like, I grew up on cartoons and underoos, whereas some people grew up on the movies, and some people grew up on the comics. We all come into this character differently, and we all have this, this idea of who he is. And to find what are the common traits and characteristics of all those, and now put them in a video game, is just a constant challenge. But it's, um, I think... Um, lucky is we have a lot of Spider-Man fans, a lot of Marvel fans. We have some amazing, talented developers that were able to take all those wants and desires and put together a pretty fantastic experience. It's really hard to make games.